I am Kyle Kelsey. I am originally from Colorado, where I was born, to a military father. I left there, lived in South Korea for a year. Mostly grew up in Northern Virginia and spent summers at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. My background is painting and drawing, and the majority of the time that I've been here, I've focused strictly on, on painting and drawing. I also teach oil painting here. Uh, but in the last several months, I've taken a, a shift towards stop motion animation. Uh, that was because the paintings that I were doing were all an attempt at creating narrative-based imagery. The content was based off of memories and dreams of my own woven together in, a, in an attempt to create uh, a, a story within an image. But it seemed only natural to make a progression towards time-based work, which ended up being stop motion animation because I still get to include everything that I'm interested. I still get in, I, I get to paint, I get to draw, I get to do digital work with editing, photography, uh, uh, making original music to, to create audio tracks. So it's just a, it was the natural progression from the content of my painting. It's really the exploration of the process. That's the thing that keeps me coming back to everything that I do. Um, it's not an attempt at therapy, uh, even though I think to some extent anyone that seeks out a, a career as a creative professional probably is getting something therapeutic out of it because working in grocery stores or, or car shops or at a hospital or wherever just wasn't making you happy so you decide a creative pursuit is more for you. I did my undergrad at UNCW and as far as uh, graduate school that was ruled out because they didn't have a fine arts program uh, at the graduate level. So I sought other things in the state of North Carolina. I knew I wasn't willing to even consider paying out-of-state tuition so I, I, I never even looked anywhere out of the state but I narrowed it down to, to two options within the state that provided an opportunity for interdisciplinary study again my background is is painting and drawing but I didn't want to limit myself to that knowing how varied my interests are I didn't want to place that restriction on myself so growing up, I, I did draw a little bit. You know, I always, I always liked trying to draw, but I was not a good kid growing up. I certainly was not on, on top of school. I, I dropped out of high school. Uh, so during my childhood, I never, I never received any kind of training. That eventually progressed into me uh, uh, dabbling in graffiti art. And so all of that essentially was self-taught, and this was before YouTube, so I had to just kind of experiment, or if I went online and found anything, it was usually written documents, not video. But then, you know, as a grown-up, I started getting away from it all, you know, just working a job took precedent over anything else when I get off work. I didn't have much motivation to do anything. I started kind of getting back into it though while I was in the army. When I was deployed in Afghanistan, one of the things that you run into a lot during a deployment is, is how to deal with downtime. You know, you can't go to a concert. You can't, you don't have endless network channels to watch. You don't have, there's a lot that you don't have. And so one of the things that I did was I bought a book on, on figure drawing. I would pass some of my time by, by drawing. And then after a while, people got that, you know, I had at least an inclination towards drawing, even if I wasn't very good. Uh, and so they'd try to get me to draw things or paint signs that we would put up on base. And I, I left that and kind of went back to not really doing much. It was four years after I left the army that I decided to use my GI Bill. I went in originally as a computer science major and I realized very fast 
that that was not right for me when I took coding and trigonometry. But my concentration was digital arts. So I was taking 2D design at the time. And I actually really enjoyed the class, so it seemed like it was probably better for me to switch my major to art. And then I actually learned how to paint rather than just pretend like I could paint. My thesis, the work for my thesis exhibition is going to be centered on stop motion animation and still photography. All of the, the still photos are going to be derived from the content of the animations themselves. Uh, the animation is uh, a short dream sequence. There's a, a figure that goes to sleep and, and has a dream. Uh, this sits behind me or two of the settings for the dream. And I just wanted to create a, a simple, silly, amusing story and you know these are based off of you know, I'm pulling bits and pieces from from memories of mine dreams of mine but the reason I wanted it to be simple silly even kind of childlike is because the, the the focus of my thesis is that stories bring people together oftentimes we encounter grown-ups who when you ask them they'll tell you they don't have a creative bone in their body they can't tell a story with the reality is we do this naturally we don't even think about it you meet someone and greet them and say hey how you doing and then they tell you what's been going on with them they're telling you a story but going back to when we're kids if you ask you know a five-year-old child to make up a story they can do it no problem it's going to be a really simple story it's not going to be highly complex but they don't have that creative block getting in the way that we have when we get older. You know, that's, that's something that we know naturally as children and we even use it as a learning tool. You know, think like a math class, you get word problems. A train is traveling 60 miles an hour from point A, they have X amount of miles to go to point B, how long will it take them to get there? They've set up a short little story for you to try to explain something. This works really well with kids, it works good with adults. And I just kind of want to try to recapture some of that childlike imagination in my work now and, and show that, you know, we can still do this as grown-ups, you know. The problem here is that, is not that you don't have a creative bone in your body, it's that you're telling yourself you can't do something. When we tell our own stories, we're, we're letting people know who we are and what we value, and that's, that's what I'm doing by creating a, a simple, silly, amusing story that hopefully is, is, is visually compelling when, it, when it's done. Uh, same thing with the still photos that are going to be based off of all of that. I'm, I'm showing people a little bit of who I am, and hopefully they can get a connection with that.